Sounds like fun there. Let's take a look at your forecast. Here's the good news. The worst of this round of weather is now behind us. We're going to be looking at cloudy conditions continuing into the afternoon. It does look like now for the Pittsburgh area, at least the rain has come to an end. We're still going to watch along I 80. Still a chance that we could see a passing shower there, even though that chance is pretty small. 44, your temperature at this time, just cloudy at the airport. Did see four hundredths of an inch of rain first thing this morning. Just kind of those pesky showers, very light, kind of what we were expecting. Drizzle to light rain at times, just kind of falling over the city. Winds this hour west, uh, 15 miles an hour. The barometer 29, 83 hundredths of an inch. There's the last little bit of that rain that we we're just talking about. We are going to continue to monitor along I 80 once again for the possibility of rain as this big upper low, this nor'easter continues to churn. In fact, it's possibly doing what we call retrograding or starting to move against the jet stream moving back off to the west. So we'll watch that closely. It continues to push in that cold air. And right on top of Lake Erie, we get the moisture, and that's where we got the uh, rain from uh, this morning. High pressure off to our west, so we'll get a couple of drier days once this upper low moves out. But that's going to take some time. In fact, both today and tomorrow morning, we'll still be under the impacts of our, the, really the influence of that upper low. That means our winds out of the northwest to the west, fairly gusty at times. And we will be looking at plenty of clouds around both of those during that time period. So another 24 hours of that. Here's a look at current temperatures 44 in the Pittsburgh area this hour, 45 in Butler, 47 in the Washington area, the Waynesburg area 49. I do think that we are going to get some warm uh, uh, temperatures in here as we start to see that rain going away. So we'll continue with the 52 for your expected high. Here's how I think we get there. You can see those temperatures. We have some work to do before we get there. We knew though that the uh, high temperature, if we got to 52, it would be all the way up until about six o'clock before we did that. And so we are still on path to do that. And so we'll watch closely there overnight with the clouds around. We'll likely fall into the mid to low 40s, similar to what we saw uh, this morning. There's the rain totals for today, including that 400 of an inch in Pittsburgh. That's following the record amounts, 1.2 inches of rain that we saw yesterday. So a daily record that was set. Uh, there's your uh, forecast when it comes to winds. Don't forget wind speeds will still be fairly strong, especially if you're heading east of the Laurel uh, Highlands. Uh, that's where you could still see some wind gusts in excess of 40 miles an hour. Uh, small rain chance today, and we're going to hold on just along and north of I-84 rain chance on Friday. Uh, besides that, though, the rest of the weekend will be dry and a nice little warm up heading into Saturday and Sunday. Both days expected highs in the 60s.